What's up guys, it's Ed and welcome back to another Ultimate Camera Comparison video. This time we are facing off the HTC One M9 against possibly one of the best smartphone cameras in the market, the Xperia Z3. But before we jump into the samples, let's take a quick look at their specs. So the M9 has a 20.7 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of 2.2 that can shoot up to 4K resolution at 30 FPS. The Z3 also has a 20.7 megapixel camera with an aperture of 2.2 and it can also shoot up to 4k resolution at 30 fps both phones also have digital image stabilization and continuous autofocus and it can also record slow motion in 720p at 120 fps for front facing cameras the m9 has a 4 megapixel camera that can shoot in 1080p and the z3 has a 2.2 megapixel camera that can shoot in 1080p as well i did shoot both phones in manual mode to adjust its exposure levels in certain shots to make this a fair test so with that being said let's take a look at the samples Thank you. 
All right, guys, welcome to the stabilization and microphone test between the HTC One M9 and the Xperia Z3. Uh, pay attention to the audio icon somewhere on the screen, and it will basically let you know which phone's microphone is being used. And also, both phones are strapped onto one device to ensure a very accurate stabilization rating. The best thing about the Z3 is that it also has a stabilization feature even during 4K recording called Steady Shot. When it comes to focusing, the M9 seems to be focusing really well here. There are times though where the camera goes in and out trying to capture the object, but nonetheless it's really accurate and quick. The Z3 also does a good job for the most part, however it does often get stuck at times when swapping between objects frequently. The M9 definitely has a more dependable camera when it comes to focusing. Alright so for daylight picks, the M9 has slightly more saturation and the Z3 picks appear to be a little washed out but they're actually not, they're just more truer to life. The images on the Z3 are closer to the real thing and it actually comes down to personal preference. Some people want rich vibrant colors in their photos and others want more realistic so I think both do a good job in their own category. Moving inside and away from the sun, I think both phones are pretty much equal. The only problem that the M9 faces when focusing on blacks is that it overexposes everything else whereas the Z3 has a better balance. However, even the Z3 doesn't stand a chance against the front facing camera of the M9. For low light performance, the Z3 does a much better job than the M9. Excellent dynamic range on the Z3, you are just able to see every bit of detail in the shot whereas the M9 struggles. The Z3 also has a lot less noise and a much sharper image. The M9 also fails at flash picks at a closer distance, especially if the object is white. The Z3 on the other hand does a far better job. Switching to daylight video in 4K, both phones do a great job. Now because the Z3 has truer to life colors, it kind of seems washed out whereas the footage from the M9 looks more rich and vibrant. But like I said earlier, it does come down to personal preference. For stabilization, the Z3 takes the point. I think that the stabilization software on the Z3 is just a lot better than the M9's. For low light video, I think both phones definitely need improvement. The Z3 definitely didn't do a great job, but I think it did better than the M9. If you actually pay close attention to the signs and the vehicles, you can see that they are slightly sharper and less blurry. So the final verdict, if you want truer to life colors and decent low light experience, go with the Z3. If you love vibrant colors and taking selfies, then the M9 is your best friend. Personally, I'll pick the Z3 over the M9 any day when it comes to camera performance. The realistic colors are what I'm after and it also has better stabilization for video and does a great job taking pictures in low light settings. Anyways, that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree with my results? Drop a comment down below to let me know as well as leave a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. If you want to see more camera comparisons on your favorite smartphones, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because there are plenty more coming your way. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Ed from TechSource and I'll see you guys in the next video.